Nothing that I love more than scallops. Juicy, succulent, sweet scallops. And you know what's even extra special about these scallops is I'm actually sitting in the beautiful Digby Pines Golf Resort. And just to add an extra sort of fun element to my trip here to the Digby Pines, I'm gonna meet up with chef Dale Nichols and we're gonna learn about scallops, why they're so famous. I got a full day of scallops ahead of me. Welcome to Digby Pines. I heard it's your first time here. Yeah, chef, I know. It is my first time in Digby. Listen, I've got a few things to do in the kitchen. Why don't you head downtown, and then I'll meet you down there, and we'll go to the wharf, and I've got someone I want you to meet. All right, I'll see you at the wharf later. Digby is a two and a half hour drive from Halifax, and it is a beautiful coastal town. Because Digby is on the Bay of Fundy, it offers locals and tourists some of the best views in the province and some of the best scallops in the world. Hi, Renee. Listen, this is the fellow I wanted you to meet. This is Vance. Hi, Renee. What do you got in your hand there? Don't tell me that's a scallop. <laughs> <laughs> but what makes Digby scallops so special? I mean, what is it? Is it the air? Is it the water? Is it the moon? It's, it's the water. It's the area, the Bay of Fundy, the tidal action. We get a lot of nutrients in the water and scallop grow well. We have relatively cold water in comparison to most of the tidal zones. In a scallop, the only thing that we eat is the muscle. muscle. The black portion here is the stomach. Okay. And this That's the row? That is the row. And when we're fishing, this is all discarded back to the ocean. So some other it. fish is going to eat that. So then you're left with just the scallop, the one that we're also used to seeing. And so, what's the best way to eat a digby scallop? Well best way is that fresh out of the water. <laughs> All right, Dale, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling very inspired by what you've taught us here today, Vance. Those scallops look beautiful. I think we should collaborate. What do you yep. think? Go back, maybe like brainstorm. Let's plan a meal. Do something together. Sounds great. All right, thanks, Vance. Good. Thanks for the inspiration. Thanks, I can't wait yeah, to right. cook some of these. Great. All right, grab great. them. Let's go. Let's, yeah, go. let's go. Seeing a Digby scallop right out of the ocean has got Chef Dale and I fired up. We spent the afternoon exploring the town of Digby and taking inspiration from this incredibly beautiful part of the province. Scallops are always a big hit in my restaurant, so to be able to cook with them fresh from the ocean is a special treat. Having tasted Chef Dale's food already, I can't wait to get into the Digby Pines kitchen and really show off what a Digby scallop can do. Well, Renee, here we are. You're, you're in my kitchen. I'm in your kitchen and I'm really <laughs> excited, Chef. I mean. We are working with Digby scallops today. That's we right. are in Digby. in Digby. Tell me, what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to make sort of a sashimi scallops. All right. Uh, I mean, you hear a lot of it sashimi with white fish, et cetera, et cetera. But we're just going to give it a little spin on that, show that you know scallops are versatile. You can do a lot of things with them. You want me to so slice these up? Just slice these really thin. Just you know, right. as thin as you can with a paper. You know, they got to have a bit of resiliency. Plus, they're going to be marinated. Okay. So I'm going to put some ginger in there. That's right. There's some ginger in this as well. And you know what? I love that you're using the microplane for ginger because. It's like the best thing because it's so fibrous. Well, it's, it's fibrous, but there's so much juice in there. You need a little lemon zest. You need that hit of citrus. The citrus and what is better always way to nice. Get it is right off the peel. Citrus and seafood, I think, has just always been a, like a classic combination. It, it has, and I think it, first of all, it brings out flavor. Flavor. Do you say scallop or do you say scallop? I'm a scallop guy. You're I'm a scallop guy, not scallops. This is also visually very beautiful because you've got the lemon the nice green, the and the opaque green, from the scallops. The scallops. Mm -hmm. Right here around the edges, you can see where they're getting a little whiter. Now you don't want them to be all white because I turn that over, the underside is firmer. So it's starting to literally change the texture of the scallop. All right, let's plate this up because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> we have for you is a nice scallop sashimi. Uh, rather than pan sear and fry the scallops, I've taken it and just marinated simply with uh, some green onions, some olive oil, some lemon, served it with a nice cranberry gastrique, which is very native to around here, and a uh, star anise gastrique. All right, Dale, yeah. your scallop sashimi was beautiful. The guests loved it. it. Hit, they loved it. We're gonna make a really beautiful, like simple ragu with all these uh, flavors. You have these beautiful chanterelles. And for some reason, I had miso in my bag because I usually just, <laughs> just travel. I never go anywhere with my bag of when miso. When I know that I'm gonna be, you know, working with Digby scallops, I just carry a bag yeah. of miso with me. So I'm going to thinly slice my shallots. I'm gonna throw that right into my pan. I took some of the butter and I mixed it with some miso that we're, I'm basically just gonna like 
put right on top of the scallops just so it like melts. Nope. I'm gonna just put a little bit of lemon juice in here because like you, yeah. it's the, all about the acidity. Right. I'm gonna put a little oh, okay. bit of my miso butter in here. Right on, just, yeah. just give it a little kiss, just a little kiss. So you've got all the things that grow around the scallops, right? Yeah. Yeah. In this, in Digby. You've got the chanterelles because you've got all the pines, get it? Get the corn, the Swiss chard. So I like about this is you've got, it's nice and creamy. Uh, the corn is still a little bit crunchy. And then what I like to do is we've got the calendula mm -hmm. uh, from the gardens here, which adds just a really nice flavor and a punch of color. So that chef yes. is my dish, right. just like your dish, simple, easy. What I have for you is a beautiful pan seared Digby scallop. I really wanted to showcase the succulence and the sweetness of it, so I paired it with a beautiful ragu of chanterelles, corn, finished with a little bit of miso butter. Enjoy. What a day, what a gift. Thank you, Digby Pines, for having me, and thank you, Chef Dale Nichols, for showing me what a real Digby scallop should taste like. Now get out there and eat some Digby scallops.